people think of Diamondback, they often think of BMX. That's where the brand made its name years ago. But in fact, Diamondback actually has a pretty extensive road line. And now they've got the completely redesigned Podium. And this is very much a racing bike, as the name implies. We are here with Michael Brown, Director of Product Development for Diamondback Bicycles. I think anytime someone hears aero road bike, they have these visions of nightmare cable routing and uh, you know all the, the things that come in keeping the bike aero and getting the cables out of the way. Well, yeah, I mean, that was one of the big uh, things that we really wanted to you know, keep you know, consistent with this frame. And that's really kind of making it easier for, for the end user to, to maintain it or just work on it or what have you if they need to do some maintenance. But, a couple of the things are really we're using simple things like you know a five millimeter button head you know bolt to fix the front derailleur mount, something that is easily found in any bike store or even a hardware store. Other things too, really in terms of adjustments and just ease of use, you know having the brakes mounted high on the seat stays, using a standard you know dual pivot single single bolt brake, uh, just again makes the bike easier and less complex for a person that uh, you know maybe have been riding bikes for years or whatever to work on or to, to maintain. Uh, in terms of hiding the cables, you know all of our doors and things are accessible with Allen wrenches, big openings, accessibility. So in terms of changing cables out, there's a there's definitely an easy way to get inside this bike and pull that stuff through. Yeah. So one thing that I think really stands out on this frame is this uh, this unique seat stay design. I've never actually seen a road bike with that design. Can you talk a little bit about uh, what that provides? Well, that's reminiscent of uh, Sirio's time trial bike. Uh, time trial bikes now have their airfoils going out very wide away from the seat post and then uh, at the very end coming in uh, sideways into the seat tube. That's for improved aerodynamics. So uh, a lot of this bike is a uh, derivative of our uh, aerodynamic research from the Sirio, so that's how that's the genesis of this idea. So Phil, you joined the Optum team in January. In March, you won the Redlands Classic on this new podium. Tell us a little bit about the characteristics of this frame. It's a super nice frame. It's um, you know, like they all say, they're everyone's shooting for light and stiff, and it's a good combination. It still complies enough to to rip the downhills. It's not it's not ever too stiff. It's easy to control. Um, it's it's been a great part of our team so far this year. So there you have it. This is Diamondback's new podium. And as the name implies, it's very much a bike meant to be raced. It's aerodynamic. However, the guys at Diamondback were quick to point out with the compliance they build into the frame, it's a bike that can be ridden all day long comfortably. For more on the Amgen Tour of California, click up here. And for a video on how to get aero on your road bike, click down here. To subscribe to GCN, just click on any of this stack of aero road frames right behind me like Vanna White, only with bikes instead of letters.